This is Future Jackson here, just letting you know that um, for the first two minutes, Troy's microphone was very low down in the mix. Now, we, we record this podcast live, so um, there's not really much I can do about it. So if you just listen very carefully for the first two minutes, you might be able to hear him. If not, I uh, skip two minutes into the podcast and I fix his audio there. So this is just a little uh, warning to let you know why... He's so low in the mix, and um, he is he is corrected. So, uh, enjoy the podcast. So, um, we're going to come up and see you shortly, aren't we? Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. I've made some, some, some... Finally play some Away Out, yeah? Because I've been talking about that for fucking, like, a year now. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to playing that. Uh, some, some, some gang beasts, maybe? Well, maybe yeah. Because um, Leith, right? Yeah. Yesterday, when he... Um, so I was just trying to convince him to come up. Let me find his message here because I liked it. Uh, oh, here. So I was so uh, he said no originally because he's like I haven't got the money for it. Yeah. Then I, I told him that I'd pay for gas and stuff, and he was like, "Okay, one condition: twenty to thirty bucks and my music on the way up. I want to leave Sunday morning so I can go home and do stuff." And I was like, I was like, sweet as, I can spare some cash arenos, and yeah, that works out because I might be hanging out with you on a Sunday. And then he said, uh, "And will you accept Led Zeppelin during the trip?" And I said, "I have no choice, son." <laughs> Good. Get ready for some ramble on and misty mountaintop. And then I sent him that picture of the cat shit from <laughs> from. Um... From uh, the last podcast, and he wasn't very impressed by that. I think he was uh, offended. He thought I did it. <laughs> it's just a cat piss all over again, for fuck's sake. Yeah. 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 It's not funny. No, no, <laughs> but 20 to 30 dollars, right? Yeah. Is that... See, I'm... I'm not I'm not quite a motorist yet. I, I can drive, but I don't own a car or anything, so I wouldn't know. Is that... Is that a good price for gas? It seems pretty steep to me. It's pretty. It's actually it's pretty cheap. Normally, so normally when I come to Tokyo, it costs me about sixty bucks to get there and back. Sixty. Yeah. About half tank of gas. <laughs> he's, he's, he's doing a pretty good deal. Well, I I just realised that uh, that your audio is too quiet. Just let me. I'll just whoop, put this back up. It's fine. This this is this is only the opening conversation. But I'm just going to fix it right now. Yeah. Hold on. Give me a sec. Redo. This is going to be in the podcast. So just just fill time. <laughs> <laughs> You're not filling time very well, Troy. No, no, I know. I got sidetracked reading my thing because it was funny. Oh, for fuck's sake. Help us, help a brother out. <laughs> um, so no, anyway, so I'll be watching this thing on YouTube today. I, yeah. You're not going to like it because it's the Foo Fighters, but I think it's fucking wonderful. Foo Fighters are so, fine. So it's Dave Grohl just by himself, right? And it's a, it's a half an hour video, and it's just him, an instrumental thing, where he's got he's in different outfits. He's playing every single instrument. So there's him playing the guitar, playing the bass, playing the drums, playing the piano, playing this weird sort of cymbal setup. And it's fucking cool. We're just just. Like so, is the video shot like it's lot like a lot of him in the same room or something? Yeah. So what they did it they did it um where he he knew what he was going to play and he had to sit there and play this entire bit for half an hour while they just videoed on that thing. Yeah. And then they've done it for all of us, all different instruments, and they've mashed it together in one video, and it looks like it's him playing as an entire band by himself. It's like uh, with Cade's video. Remember when how I shot that? Like it's not as as. Uh... Yeah, it's is, the same uh, sort of thing, though. It's not as high quality as that because I I did it with another with an iPhone, but um, <laughs> it was an iPod, wasn't it? Nah, oh, surely I had an iPhone by then. Nah, I no, I thought it was your your old iPod. Maybe, yeah, probably, probably yeah. Shut up, Troy. So, <laughs> this turned out pretty cool. <laughs> what a fucking opening! Started talking about the price of gas and shit. <laughs> if people haven't already switched off. Should we, uh, should we go to the start of the show? Yeah, go on then. Okay. 
98.2 FM 13 Inc. Radio Podcast. It is Saturday, the 11th of July, 2020. I am Jackson. Troy is here. Hello. This is a conversational podcast where me and my co-hosts bring along topics of discussion and answer questions from you, the listeners. Hello, Troy. How are you? Um, not too bad. How, how are you? Um, I'm fine. Uh, fucking busy, but we'll, we'll hear about your week before I get into my, my big week. Yeah, well, I've just been on, been working a bit on call all week, so it's, that's an extra little bit of money, which is nice. And now I'm going to stay there weekend because I don't go back to work till Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, well, I've, hey, I'm going to go to the dentist, so I'm not looking forward to it. Oh, fucking! Let me tell you about dentists, right? Oh, yeah. well, no, nothing really to complain about. My um, my wisdom tooth was hurting oh, the other day. Fuck. Yeah. Why couldn't this fucking happen last year when, you know, I, I was of the age where it was for free? But yeah. I guess not. I guess I'm going to have to... It, well, it's not too expensive. Like, I've had all my three... I've had three of mine pulled out, rather. And they've all cost me about 300 bucks each. Yeah, but I don't want to pay 300 fucking bucks. Oh, actually, let me tell you a story. So, I had one of my... <laughs> I had my bottom right wisdom tooth pulled out about two months ago. So, I went to an emergency dentist up here in Hamilton... Never go to an emergency dentist. It is the worst idea of your fucking life. I told the dude I could feel the entire thing, and he goes, "Now nah, you're fine, and keep pulling it. <laughs> oh, loneliness and cheeseburgers are a dangerous mix. <laughs> <laughs> so he puts this big screwdriver thing into my tooth, and he is jamming and wiggling around. I go, ah, that hurts. I can feel that. And he, he just goes, no, no, it's okay, it's okay. And kept doing it and kept doing it, and then pulled, and he goes, there's your tooth. He like, sounds... He sounds oh. like a um, like like an older sibling when their little brother when they hurt the little brother and they're like, oh no, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Hey, have some ice cream. You can do a move yeah. on me. Don't <laughs> tell mum. <them. laughs> yeah. <laughs> that cool. sounds like mine Cade's entire childhood. Yeah, that was me and Leith as well the entire fucking time. Yeah. Speaking of Cade, he's probably going to walk in at some point during the podcast, but that's fine, isn't it? Troy? That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Um. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, so past two weeks, right? Yeah. I've been doing renovation work. Um, oh, I remember you saying that for for me girlfriend's family. So they yeah. moved into their new house, and I've been up there for the uh, past two weeks, um, work, working there. So I've been doing like painting and stuff, uh, uh, pink bats, jibbing, everything. Yeah, uh, it's 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 good learning stuff as well. I've been working with um, Jordan. Oh yeah, that's cool. And, so, yeah, that's cool. So I've been been talking to him a lot. You know her. Yeah, that was, that was yeah fun. Um, so. Yeah, that was the past two weeks. I th- I thought we had next week. That I thought we're finished, but next week we're going back for another week. So that's cool. I was kind of happy about it as well because like, I don't know what to do with myself. Yeah. Like, so it's it's fucked my sleeping patterns right up, right? So now you're a normal person and sleep at a normal time. So I I was waking up at seven thirty every. I oh, know seven thirty, right? That's fucking early, isn't it? Um, oh, fuck, no, it's not. <laughs> um, so I've been waking up seven thirty like every day, and then it gets to the like it was same last weekend as well. It gets to the Saturday. And yeah. I wake up at a redonkulous time. So last Saturday was early, but today it was 10 to 7 when I woke up. Yeah, that's about when I got up too. It was mental. I was like, why? It's a weekend. But ugh. um, but then tomorrow I'll be corrected and I'll sleep until fucking 8 or something. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that's what I've been doing all week. Uh, we found some dead rats in the wall. Yeah. Which was fun. <laughs> they're bitches, they fucking stunk. Oh, they must have been like years old because they were like mummified. They um, oh, yes. and it was it was sad because it was like it must have been like a fruit. What uh, must have been like a plum or something? Yeah, it has like a pepony in in the middle. Yeah, uh, it, it, it was it was in the wall, so it had no pink bats or anything. So it was just on the plank. Yeah, and um, so the fruit was there, and there must have been like five baby rats surrounding that fruit, trying to stay alive. The fruit was half eaten. Yeah. Right? So, so no big rat. So I, I think the mum lost their babies, and um, so they're all stuck in the wall. And yeah, yeah that, I was just, I was just, I was just telling um Tiana about it. Just imagine the heartbreak. Just oh, my my mum's gone. And then like oh, Sally died yesterday. June is gonna die today. I'm next. And the, so for this like yeah, there was, there was like five of them surrounding this, just trying to live. But yeah, they they all died in the wall. Yeah. Um, if you want to see that photo, it's on my Instagram at Condemned oh, underscore wonder, lad. I was trying to figure out what that photo was. Yeah, so so if you want to see that, go to Condemned underscore lad on tw- uh, on a Instagram, and you can see that. So those are the dead rats there. 
uh, there were five of them surrounding the fruit, and then on the beam below that, there was one by itself. So that's even worse. That one died on its own. Oh, no. <laughs> no food. That poor bastard. <laughs> so, uh, and speaking of rats, um, on the day of the last podcast, when we recorded it, and, and when it went out, I, yeah. uh, I got some pet rats for the first oh, time right. in 10 years. Um, Are they still alive? Yeah, they they live for a good two to three years or something. Um, and you were there for my last rats, weren't you? Yeah, I remember they died of cancer. Yeah, yeah they they died on my birthday. You were there. Yeah. <laughs> they died. So one had cancer in its leg, died, yeah. And then uh, and the, the other, other one had nothing to snuggle up against to, to get warmth. So that That's died right. on the same night. And then, so, happy birthday, son. Dead rats. Because <laughs> I remember one of them had really fucking red eyes. Yeah, yeah, it was a... Um, that was terrifying. It was an, I thought it was going to kill me. <laughs> albino one. And it, uh, yeah. and it's, yeah, it looked like one of those old-timey bicycles. Like, um, yeah. like the, yes. the, the big wheel and a small wheel. So he had, like, yeah. one big fat leg and one little small leg. And he would, like... I think you can imagine the walk cycle there, but yeah, um, yes. <laughs> so yeah, that was <clears throat> it. Was cool. We got some rats. Um, they're both girls, but I didn't call them girls' names. Can you guess what I called them? Ben and Peter. Oh, you are fucking onto it. Yes, I did. I called them Ben and Peter because I am a cool dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, who wouldn't call two rats Ben and Peter? They're best I, friends. I don't know. I don't know who would. Oh, I don't know exactly. who wouldn't. Yeah. He's going to get a third rat now. Yeah, yeah, Mikey, yeah. But you're obligated yeah. to call rats Ben and Peter whenever you get them. Any animal has to be called them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, your children, yeah, yeah, yeah your children have to be called Ben and Peter, yeah. And if they're not, I'm going to come to your house, I'm going to slice your neck. <laughs> 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 so that, that's, that's all that's really happened in my week. Um, I, um, I, I didn't have any time to play any games or anything. Um... Because I was busy, I used the the house as a hotel for the owner for the for the two weeks. Like I just I'd yeah. come back, sleep, and then I'd get up in the morning and go again. So, um, but before that, I was playing a bit of um, a bit of a Crash One Remaster, yeah, on Steam, and I'm yeah. trying to trying to get a hundred percent on that because there's no way I'm gonna hundred percent the original because it gets a fuck. I'm not gonna fuck off. You can't save your game in it. Um. But yeah, so I've been playing. I was playing through that for a bit. I've stopped, but I'm going to get back onto that. And yeah. I'm still, I'm still playing Crash Two on on stream, so that's not finished yet. And you get back to that as well. What do you think of the Crash Four that's coming out? Oh, oh, here we here's the discussion. Right here we go. Um, sorry, uh, <clears throat> wasn't a fan of the redesign when it uh, was first revealed. Yeah. I just thought. I just he looked. Uh, he looks fine. It, it's, it's nothing like the um, the Crash of the Titans. You've seen that one, right? Where he's got like tribal designs on his arms and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's nothing like that. But it's um, I still think it's a downgrade of yeah. the uh, of the. Uh, I was about to say no and tasty. Um, uh, not reignited. What is it? What's it called? Insanity Island. Uh, Insan- yeah. The the. <laughs> the crash in 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 set insanity fuck the remaster yeah the 2017 remaster yeah yeah that I know what you're one. talking about yeah, yeah okay it's, it's 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 a downgrade from that but that's still fine and um and I, I came around to it in the end I'm like oh he still looks like he still looks like crash so yeah as long as it's like that it's fine uh, there's nothing yeah. that he has to go off by, from the trailer. It just looks like an extension of three, and oh, and they're ignoring um, Wrath of Cortex and Twin Sanity. Yeah, which is a good move, even though I I I don't hate those games. Like uh, Twin Sanity was a lot of fun, and Wrath of Cortex I think is given a lot more shit than it deserves. It's still it's still not a good game. Yeah, but it's it's better than uh, Enter the Dragonfly if you've ever played that. Yes, I have. Yeah. That sucks yeah. so bad. I could. I got to one. I got so far through, and I'm like, I don't know how to get any further, and I'm stuck. So yeah, I will throw this out the window. It's so fucking broken. Like it's um, you can finish it. In, I think the speed run is like three minutes or something. Three or four yeah. minutes. That's how yeah. fast you can fucking. It's so broken. But uh, the soundtrack on that game is is fantastic. But um, that's the only redeeming quality, really. Um, yeah. But yeah, so Crash 4 looks cool. Um, won't get into it too much because there's not really much to get into. But uh, did you like how he looked? Or Yeah, I thought it, I thought it looked alright. I haven't seen too much about it. 
I've yeah. only seen little bits, but I think it looks like it could be alright. I'm sure the game will be like fine. Like it's that's what I'm concerned about. I just didn't really like the redesign, but um, I've come around to it though. It's fine. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely going to get a PS5 and play it. So. Yeah, you, you going to do PS5? Are you? Yeah, I told you that last time, friend. Oh, that's right. I remember. Now. I remember. Um. Because I couldn't. I still haven't decided. Haven't you? I like the look of the new Xbox. I think it looks quite cool. I haven't even seen the new Xbox. I. Oh, yeah. It's it's like a, it's like a rectangle box. You have to show me tonight or something. Yeah, it's... well, it's and it's um probably it's only about 15, 15 centimeters tall, so it's not very big. Because uh, there was a a thing about the last generation, wasn't it? It was that the Xbox uh, console looked a lot, a lot chunkier than the PS4. It looks a lot chunkier, but yeah, because <laughs> look at it. I'm looking at mine right now. Yeah. Uh, it does. It looks it looks very chunky, but it, it was also quite a. Pe- a peeling on the eye because it's all basically one fucking size. And as long as it fits on the shelf, you're fine, but... Yeah, and yeah. it fits perfectly where I need it to fit. Um, but the the cool thing about the new Crash game, it's, yeah. it's a Crash 4 finally coming out after yeah. the last one was in 98. Um, the cool thing it's about a long it time, is... Eh? Yeah, it's, fuck yeah, it's a long time. Um, it sounds like tool. <laughs> or system. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um... <laughs> Cool thing about it is that's almost I'm not to say guaranteed, but that's a pretty high um, uh, possibility that a new Spyro game is coming out next year, which is what I will be coming over. Yeah, well, that'd be cool too as well, as I'm long as sorry, it's not said, into the Dragonfly. I'm sorry I said that, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm so I'm, I'm a Spyro boy more than a Crash boy. Yeah. Are you? I never got too heavily into either of them. Like fuck. I like them both, I but I, I, I think I prefer Spyro. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Ah. Uh, yeah. Remember, Spyro, Spyro gave you shit that one time. Eh? You couldn't do the uh, popcorn challenge. Yeah. I've I got that on the video. If people want to see that, I'll post that because that's. Oh, whoa, fuck! <laughs> that made me angry. <laughs> I got there in the end. Yeah, you got there. It so, took me about four hours. Uh, it, it was like. It wasn't I, quite that long, but it felt. Like I started. It was that I started long. recording like halfway through. And yeah. there's a good fifteen minutes on on I've got on like on on camera, but you're playing think you, a long time before that. Because you got it as I for the last shot was when I won I think. Huh? No, I had like fifteen minutes of like of failure, and then you came around to it in the end. Yeah. Um, but should we dive into our first question here? Yeah. What have we got? Um. So this. So I, when I sent out the um, the uh, the uh, what do you call it? For the, uh, the story to ask for questions, yeah, um, we received a few really help, really helpful uh, responses in response to our story, and it was um, <clears throat> so I put out help me and Troy out by asking questions, no limit to what can be asked, right? Yeah, yes. And Tony replied with, "No," <laughs> <laughs> which is which is fuck. Oh, that's so helpful. Thanks. Um. We got an actual question from Leith. Yeah. Uh, but this can be answered fairly quickly. It was, um, is Troy still training to be a wrestler? Troy, are you still training to be a wrestler? Yes. So, what did you say? <laughs> what did you say on your uh, wrestling school application? I would like to be a wrestler, please. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, I'm going to find this. Because it was... <laughs> I said hi. I would like to be a wrestler, please. <laughs> oh, I gotta find the screenshot you sent me because it. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Here it is. Okay. Name: Troy. Last name: Winter. Email: Oh, I won't, sorry, I won't read it. I won't read it. No, email. don't read it, mate. No, no, but but anyway, anyway uh, so at gmail dot com, where the, the beginning part is. Comment. I want to be a wrestler, please. Right. No punctuation whatsoever. No full stops, no commas. Just, I want to be a wrestler, please. It, the exactly. only letter the only letter that's in capitals is the first I. Everything else is lowercase. It's a sentence. <laughs> Do I have capital letters in the middle of a sentence? Oh, but, you, but you've got no fucking... Like, oh. you, you, you just get straight to the point. Tell them exactly what you want. I want, I to, want be to be a wrestler, that's please. It. Nothing else. Let's just see. want to be a wrestler. I want to be a wrestler, please. But you read it in this voice and said, "I want to be a wrestler, please." <laughs> like that. <laughs> hey, that could be problematic. <laughs> no, it's not problematic. It's just, oh. 
It's, just, it's not right. You just <laughs> It's not what you say to a wrestling company. I want to be a wrestler, please. Um, hey, I heard back. Then I realized that then I realized they were underneath him and I was like, oh, okay, never mind. What did they say? Did they like were they said, please fill out the that's it, that's full out was oh. a full on application form with saying See it, it was know, a robot. What dates you can do it and Ah uh, no, it was an actual person. It was a no, it, was, it must have been a robot. If, if it was that, it was a robot. No, they because they that was attached to it. That was attached to the email. Okay. I can't um, I was, can't find it, but it was yeah, it was someone saying da da da. I think yeah, I can't remember what it said. But out then, of all those very useful uh, responses to our story, yeah, um, I've decided to go with this one here, which isn't really any better. Um, <clears throat> I've decided to go with uh, Tiana asks. 20 cheese omelette or hoispin crispy owl. So, so you're familiar with the Butterfield diet plan, right? Vaguely. All right, so I've, I've got it here. I can insert it into the podcast as well. But So let's listen to this and see if, see what you see. I'll show you what I mean anyway, because it, it's fantastic. Yeah. Here we go. Let's play this. This was me. Brian Butterfield six months ago before starting my diet plan. But just look at me now. <laughs> I feel like a new He's man exactly the same size. to the Butterfield <laughs> diet. The results have been incredible. No one here. Oh, sorry. The results have been incredible. <laughs> okay, here's your weekday incredible. breakfast. <laughs> one cornflake toasted with low-fat spread. Drink Eating one water. cornflake. Lunch, hot water. Small raw nice. potato, peeled. Salad, mini lettuce. Don't forget cornflakes for those things. Room temperature water. Dinner. Square of low fat turkey. <laughs> One baked bean. Baked bean and low fat tomato <laughs> sauce. Broccoli shavings. Drink. Baked water. bean. Pudding. Ice cubes and artificial sweetener. <laughs> Follow this diet to the letter every, every day. day. Then, at the weekend, weekend it's time for a reward. Saturday, Saturday is treat, treat day. day. <laughs> for 24 hours, you can literally eat anything. Here we go. Pizza, birthday pie, pints of cream, pork cylinders, potato grids, artificial bacon, large max. <laughs> you name it. Large max. Sandwich casserole, chocolate quail's eggs, garlic pudding, fluffy ruffs, hoisin crispy <laughs> owl, pasta pillows, <laughs> bon 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 bons, mcfortune bon bon cookies. <laughs> It's up to you. Discount foie gras, egg and ham slabs, during dinner mints, mystery meat, quiches Lorraine, 20 cheese omelette. <laughs> Anything goes. Just remember, you've only got 24 mm. hours and, and not, not a, a second, second more. more. Mm. Sunday. Sunday is your rest day. Oh. These trousers are so loose. I think I may need to buy a new belt. <laughs> so, so that's the uh, the Butterfield diet plan, right? Okay. These trousers are so loose. Um, so the question was twenty cheese omelets, not not even multiple omelet, just twenty cheese omelet. Yeah. <laughs> um, or hoisin crispy owl. What would you pick out of those two? Well, don't typically just like to eat meat. So that inclines me to lean towards the twenty cheese omelette. But are owls really, really animals? Don't they yes. Count? Yes. Yes. They count as animals. I don't think so. I think you're wrong, there, friend. Um, I would like to try an owl. Yeah. I would like to eat an owl to say I've eaten an owl. Yeah. Um, twenty cheese omelette sounds like I'd get to five cheese omelette and then do a big, big sickums on the floor. Um, Bumpers. Yeah, but yeah. Well, that's 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 uh, that's in a few hours' time, and then stand back because you you've know, got you you've got to set aside an entire day to recover from that. Yeah. Sunday, it's fresh day. <laughs> 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 See, he thought of it. Yeah, Sunday's rest day. Saturday, yeah, well, when he's resting, he's is glued to the toilet. Yeah. So we both went through different options there. So you're going che- twenty cheese omelet. Yes. Final yes. answer. Oh, yes. Pussy. Um, I'm interested to see what it's like. <laughs> you scared the fuck out of me. Oh. Cade's here. Oh, I knew that. I figured oh, that. Hi. Hi. Fuck. You scared me. Oh, hello, Cade. Uh, everyone, Cade has walked in. Oh, he brought me a fucking monster. How lovely. Did you bring me what I asked for? 
it's all about Renee, though, back home. So you haven't got it? No, I haven't. I didn't give it are you, <laughs> are you making a joke, or you're not making a joke? No, I fucking completely Fuck forgot. Fuck's sake. <laughs> 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 I, I knew I was meant to go somewhere before I came here, and I just completely... Oh, you're a fucking <laughs> idiot. <laughs> oh, come back at one when this is finished, because <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck, I probably peaked my microphone with my, the way he yelled at me just before. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking idiot. The reason I... The reason I brought him over here, and he didn't even bring the fucking controller. What <laughs> oh. Should we move along, then? Yes. Okay. okay. I would on. like to do my thing. You want to go your thing first? Yes. Okay, uh, let's do Troy's thing. Right, so this is this. I read, found this article this morning. It took me on a wee bit of a ride. Okay. Um, just I'll, we'll start. With this the headline reads: Miami's aggressive peacocks to be relocated after residents complain. Okay. And so, the infamous the infamous peacocks of Miami's Coconut Grove neighborhood are known to squawk into the night, sketch up the sides of residents' cars, and leave piles of poop everywhere. Good. Uh, so apparently, so I'm picking Miami's Coconut Grove as a flash place. I'm not really sure. I'm picking it's one of those gated communities or something like that. Okay. So now all, so they voted in their local council to have these birds removed. Yes. Because, according to some residents, the squawking and mate, mating noises last long into the night and disturb the peace. <laughs> With large piles of peacock poop and scratches on cars, only furthering frustration. <laughs> those, those maniacs! The finder, I don't understand. What's wrong with birds living their life? I, resident Andrew, 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 <laughs> fuck is this kind of name? Andrew's Candela. And, 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 and. Andrew's Candela explained, I don't want to remain forgotten in a filthy, dirty peacock land as hostage to a group of birds. Hang on I now. think that is more than unfair. Yeah, hang on now. That's a bit rude, isn't it? Yeah, well, birds are out here just living their life. What are you trying to do to remove them? Why? Fucking peacocks. Fucking peacocks. <laughs> yeah, but not everyone wanted these birds gone. Some people quite enjoyed the colourful animals. Yeah. They thought it was quite nice having you know, having something to look at. But I feel like this was started by a Karen. This this, <laughs> this is what stuck out to me in this article was that Karen goes, I want to speak to the bird manager, please. <laughs> and said, these birds, fuck them off. Get to fuck. Or I want a refund. <laughs> Bird manager. I just fucking imagine they are like like a giant um pigeon with like a name tag that says manager on it. Just... Yeah, that's the first. That's exactly what I was thinking of. <laughs> but there's some videos on this article of um some peacock actually fucking up some cars. Like they're gone for it. They oh, clearly don't like these so cars. They are right. They are fuming. Yeah. How dare them? How dare they're all they? mad because the birds start squawking at four o'clock in the morning. Ooh. Fuck, they're just birds. They're gonna squawk. Yeah, it's, it's just imagine it's you know, imagine it's some nice, nice oh. um, yeah, just something. something See, like yeah. this lady Karen lived in the neighbourhood for fifteen years. Not impressed. Doesn't like the birds. She's been Is here her fifteen years and dealt with them fucking fifteen years. Was her name Karen? Yes, her name was indeed Karen. <laughs> cool. Oh. Oh. It's fucking you, but I told you. Yeah. <laughs> There's some fun information about some peacocks. Thank you, Troy, for bringing along fucking peacock facts. Um, I just fucking a big, a big, big bird with a manager, manager yeah. uh, name tag. It's just but yeah, and a lady with that, you know, that haircut and those glasses. <laughs> yeah, those ones. You know what I'm talking about. Friend. Yeah, everyone knows what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it out. Oh, <laughs> like. Like you, you can just imagine it. It's just, it's just in the course, right? That's that's what you could do. You could just like, oh, don't worry, kids. That's just, you know, things you'll learn yeah. about shortly. Um, probably not too shortly. What the fuck did I just say? Um, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's a fucking bird. Leave it alone. It's not like, well, yeah, it's just, exactly. Like I can, I just imagine the bird being like, no, fuck this, and like overrunning the place and turn it into a prison. 
<laughs> like, we're the fucking bosses here now. You get fuck. It's not like um, it's not like the uh, the dog we have down. Have I don't think you've ever heard the dog that's down our street. It won't shut the fuck up. It's just like, it sounds like a seal. Oh, now, wait till you wait till you come up here. Wait well, till you hear this fucking dog next door that lives next to us. This little fucking yappy bird of fucking more, hair. More like I hear the fucking children around your house. No, they're not. They're not here for that. Oh, good. No, it's just this little dog. As soon as the neighbour leaves, he fucking barks all day. <laughs> Well, and talking, doesn't shut up. Are we very serious right now, are we? Oh, you'll, you'll see when you get here. You'll see when you get here. Okay, I, I will see. Um, <sighs> yeah, but you know that, that dog down the fucking like I. So peacocks, right? They they're, they're in their habitat. They belong there. But I don't think a seal belongs in in a in a cul-de-sac. I don't think. No, no. Uh, is it water on the cul-de-sac? No, it's not. Because it's no. all like it's, it's. I don't know what its problem is. It, it goes for walks. I think. Yeah. I think. But um, this all the time is just, just constantly <laughs> just fucking won't shut up. <laughs> um, just deal with it. Yeah. Just deal with the dog. I, I guess I fucking have to, don't I? Exactly. Yeah. Um, it's not like you, you can kick it. Thank you, Troy, for uh, what, what did you say? It's not like you can kick the dog. Oh, I thought, you, I thought you encouraged me to fucking kick the dog. It's like, um... No, 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 no. Hello, Mr. Vegan. <laughs> Animals are friends, not food. <laughs> no. Or punching bags. Or oh, Bruce. Fuck it out. But uh, should we move along to the second question then, if we're finished here? Yeah, go on then. Uh, the second question comes from... Uh, so, are, are you ready for this one? Right, because this is some yeah. serious... Serious, you have to put some serious thought into this one. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Matthew asks, rank all of you from sexiest to least sexiest and why? So now, are we going to be completely honest with each other here? Who's all of us? Uh, so me, you, and Cade. Okay. Okay. I'm the sexiest. All right, so I knew you were going to say that. Because I would say I am the sexiest as well, but can we both both come to an agreement here and say that Cade is the sexiest? I guess so. <laughs> Reluctantly. Reluctantly. Um, I think he's the sexiest boy, and if he was here to scare me again, that would be fucks. But um, <laughs> we'll tell him when he gets here, well, you will vote the sexiest. Um, he is quite an attractive young male. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> I would. Um, he's he's got a nice face. Uh, yeah. He's he's he hasn't got much he's got weight the fuck, behind he's, him though. He's got the fuck boy haircut. <laughs> like we we've, we've got to address admit that you know. Let's Even just, I, I told him. You know what? You know, fuck fuck Kate. We're just throwing him the bus. Yeah, he's shit. <laughs> he, <laughs> he, um, he can't he can't gain weight. Oh, it's us. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's, it's, it's only coming from us who gain too much weight and then cry. Um, yeah, and think, how, how do I get that, but then go and eat an entire Domino's. Yeah, and have bumpers. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he, um, so I, I would rate Cade the highest there. Would you Would you agree with me? Yes. Now, who's second then? Because I don't want to toot my own horn here, Troy. But it's me. Quite. Mm-hmm. So you say that. You say that, but I don't. I don't think so. I think so. Should, I, I think. I know. Should we put this on a poll? Go on then. Put it on a poll on the band page. I was gonna do it on my page, just so either or people people see it because I'm already logged in as well. Um, let me just take a photo real quick. This is good podcast um, material, isn't it? Oh, it is. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Uh, question. Oh, poll. Sorry, not question. Fucking just, you know, fill some time for me here. Help me out, brother. Sorry. I was about to, I was about to sneeze. But it... <laughs> Fucking hell. Help me out. I can sneeze. I can feel it coming. Oh, okay. No. Fill some fucking gone. time. I was going to fucking sneeze. How am I supposed to fill time when I'm trying not to sneeze? How about now? <laughs> fill some time now. Um... So, do we see how how we feel about Keith? Are we in, incredibly proud of the the also very big man? Come on, yeah. 
how we feel about um um. um <laughs> <laughs> how, yeah, come on. How are we feeling about Keith winning at all? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm happy. I haven't seen the match yet, though, so don't spoil no, me. I haven't seen the match either. I'm um, gonna yeah. gonna watch that after um after I go for lunch with Schneider. <sighs> <sighs> all right, settle the score for the podcast. Who is sexier, Jackson, Troy? Let's leave that up to, so we don't have to fight amongst ourselves. But if he okay. comes back during the podcast, we will ask him as well. Okay. Um, so, by the end of the podcast, I'll check that and I'll see who is winning. Yes. Good idea? Good idea. Virtual handshake? Go on, handshake, go on. Handshake, done. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm happy for Keith. Um, I didn't like how you set up that, that though. <laughs> you sounded... <laughs> You're not um not very good at it, are you? Uh, you put me on the spot and I was going to sneeze. Come on. I would fucking sneeze down the microphone. That would be horrible. A professional is always, always ready. Um... <laughs> fucking, I'm barely amateur. Come on. <laughs> barely amateur, did you say? Yeah. 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 I, I, that's about as well as this podcast has gone so far. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. <sighs> I, I'm still a bit startled from um from Cade scaring me. Yeah, give yeah. me give you a good fright. G- give me, give me the bumpers. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so, are we ready for my thing? Yes. Uh, thank you, uh, Matthew, for that question. Uh, it will surely divide us and expect us to have a band break up uh, next week. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's all your fault, Matthew. Yeah, I'll, I'll fire everyone just like I fired Zach. You what? Uh, What's that? What? I'm not Ben wiring him? Yeah, damn straight I'm not Ben wiring him. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, I'll take that back. Um, right, so, are you ready for my thing? Yes. So, my thing today yes. comes from mirror.co.uk. Okay. Okay. Now, the, this is also uh, animal related. Attention seeking cat won't stop lying in. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I've already fucked it up. What's it lying about? <laughs> sorry. And how do they know it's lying? This, um, this article is written very poorly. Like, there's so many. I can, like, on the first page, I can see already a lot of mistakes that could have been corrected. Yeah. Um, like, what is this? Is this fucking the Wrestle Lads? <laughs> Um, oh, sorry, let's get some co- context there. Uh, we used to write, I think we mentioned it in the last podcast, we used to write yeah, we did. Um, reviews for... The Jackson couldn't spell. What am I mean, I couldn't spell? I was typing on a phone, friend. <laughs> what a correct fuck some things up. So I'd post it and I'd be like, hmm, I see, mi- oh, one, two, oh, five, oh, shit. There's mistakes in, in the writing. I didn't didn't proofread those, but uh, that's... that's Who has time to proofread? Yeah, that's the amount of professionalism you get from this podcast. Yep. Uh, one podcast. <laughs> right. <laughs> Attention-seeking cat won't stop laying, I'll oh, change that to, won't stop laying in road with eyes closed pretending to be dead. <laughs> one of these days someone's just going to be like, oh, fuck it, yeet, and run that cat over. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. What do you mean? <laughs> You're the one who's most anti-animal abuse out of oh fucking I shouldn't say that it makes me sound like I'm pro anti I'm pro <laughs> animal abuse. Um, well, you abuse yourself. Yeah, yeah. So sure. it's kind of pro animal abuse. I can hear his footsteps. <laughs> yeah. So you weren't, it wasn't even a bit. You actually fucking forgot it. <laughs> right. Uh, we ah uh, so so I'll come back to my thing, Troy. But yeah, we've got we've, we had a question in Cade. Um. This is from Matthew, and he says, uh, rank all of you from sexiest to least sexiest. I'm sexiest. Right, so me and Troy came to an agreement, and um, we, um, we, we came to the agreement that, yes, you are the sexiest, but out of me and him, who is sexier? If you don't say me, you're out of my will. <laughs> Troy says, if you don't say him, you're out of his will. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got to give me anyway, Troy? Dead? What? <laughs> he said dead. 
thousand dollars worth of sunglasses. I like how I'm fucking. I'm going back and forth here with um with your what, what you said to each other. So he's gonna give you debt. So and three thousand dollars worth of sunglasses. And three thousand dollars worth of sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure. Who's sexier? You're talking to the person, you're trying to compare the person who can grow a full luscious beard and someone who can't grow anything. Right, so, so, oh, 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 I've got to relay this information back and forth now. Kay said we are both as ugly as each other. Yes. You said that I can't grow a beard, so that disqualifies me from the sexy, uh, yes. uh spectrum. Yes. <laughs> this is, this podcast has gone to shit, seriously. Beards make people more attractive. Beards do not, they do not make people more attractive, they hide ugliness, Troy. They hide my three chins. That's why I don't need one. Yeah, it's because you can't fucking grow one, Kay. <laughs> You're like me, friend, you can't grow one. Um, I'm blessed with Paul's jeans. So, okay. So, can we, not that this is true, but can we uh, tie in weight to sexiness? So whoever's less heavy... Whoa, is sexier. Whoa, 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 hold on. That, whoa, that's discrimination. Whoa, 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 hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I said, I said it wasn't true. I Are said, no, 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 I'm not. No, no, no. Shh, shh, shh. That's I'm just saying. That the you are, <laughs> no, you are in Troy's case, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's discrimination. No, I'm not discriminating. I am. No, what? <laughs> I'm fat, but it's just. I'm I'm just trying to win this competition. Can I win, please, Cade? I'll I'll pay you five bucks right now if you let me win. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I'm just gonna give Cade five bucks. I'll give him a wallet over there. The the grey one. I can let you live in my house for what? <laughs> no, you're not taking it yourself, Cade. <laughs> right, I'll give you I'll give you three bucks. Hey. <laughs> Here is three dollars. You can have that. You can have Bribery that. is not the real answer. Fuck it out. Um, do you wanna do you wanna wait around until we finish this podcast, or are you gonna go home? I can wait around. Wait around in there. Thanks. I'll be out. I'll be out in like I don't know, twenty minutes. Oh, you're disgusting. <laughs> Fucking hell. So th- there was Cade, everyone. Okay, stop by. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I just, I just gave him three. You bribed him. Yeah, I gave him three dollars of my own money to fucking this podcast. Seriously. It's a lie for you. I just want to uh, uh, clarify, I was not fat shaming. I myself am quite a heavy boy. I was just trying to win the competition. And let's be fair, Troy is heavier than me. Eh, barely. <laughs> barely! Barely. Fuck off. Um, uh, my thing. <laughs> Shit. No one cares about your fucking take anymore. <laughs> Shit. All right, I was going to write down this the new time for that. 42 minutes. Fuck me. Um, uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> this is gone. Right. Attention-seeking cat won't stop laying in the road with eyes closed pretending to be dead. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. A 14-year-old cat named Lolly keeps... <laughs> See... A 14... fuck me. And the cat Lolly. Yeah. A fourteen year old cat named Lolly keep tricking his neighbours into lying in the road outside his house to fake his own death. And his <laughs> owner says the bizarre prank has seen some has seen him become a local celebrity. Fuck me, this is so poorly written. Who the fuck makes a cat a celebrity because he tries to kill himself? <laughs> He's just doing a prank. Um <laughs> A cat owner has been forced to post notes to her neighbours, re- reassuring them that they haven't killed her cat due to Moggy's... Moggy's... What? What's what this fucking language? Moggy's continuous attention-seeking pranks. But they, it was named Lolly. Maybe they fucked it up somewhere. Autocorrect. Moggy's continuous... Fucking hell. This... Oh... Lolly the cat likes to lie down motionless in the road with his eyes closed and tongue hanging out. Tricked motor- tricking motorists into thinking he has died a result of a tragic accident. Yeah. <sighs> Mum of two, Leslie Southam, says her mi- mischievous pet is simply after some concerned attention and has even created a flyer to post through through letterboxes to warn others of on the street 
in Banbury about his behavior. So she's she's making flyers. Yeah. About her cat that's just looking for attention, that's pretending to be dead in the middle of the road. Oh. What she's saying, please don't run this cat over. He's just an idiot. Hold on. Uh, uh, everyone would have heard. I just got a Facebook message. All right, cat, I love you. I'll see you later. Kate's so going, now. going home? Yeah, he's going home. He doesn't want to wait around. <laughs> <laughs> um, he just loves attention and people, said the 47-year-old. He yeah. can lay so still, people will stop to check if he is alive. That's the point of laying do down, think, isn't it? Do you think humans can get around, like, get away with this? No, maybe. If I decided to live, like, to, to live, to, to to lay down in the middle of the road. Someone's just going to run you over to us. They're going to look at like, you and be like, no one's, damn, fuck. No one's going to stop. Like, it, like, people will just be like, oh, look at that fucking idiot. Just pretending to be dead. But a cat does it. Oh, how cute. Fucking... I yeah, want to get oh. the shit cats do. I want to shit in my shower and get cats and dicks. <laughs> um, he is literally famous at the end of this town. Everyone knows Lolly. It's not so the Lolly. only prank fourteen-year-old Lolly is known for, as he yeah. often enjoys jumping into strangers' cars <laughs> and making himself at home and wandering <laughs> into offices. What the fuck is this cat? Like, something's wrong with this cat. Is this cat from Madagascar or something? Like, it's set, like jumping into... It's trying to carjack people. Uh, this is just a, a, a baby in a suit. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's all this is. It's just a fucking baby trying to carjack people. Um. Anyway, the note posted around the neighborhood includes a picture of the prankster cat and reads, Hi, my name is Lolly. My favorite thing is people and pretending I am dead at the side of the road. <laughs> now, we can only assume the cat wrote this himself. Yeah, of course he does. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> he's, of course, yeah, because he's, you know, he's jumping into other people's cars and shit. How's this so far-fetched? Yeah, exactly. Um, I am also quite old and ignorant. Please don't worry about me. <laughs> All the local businesses and vets know my owners. If you're really worried, call my mum. <laughs> I have also been known to get into vehicles. <laughs> oh, Leslie included her fo uh, mo uh, mobile number for people who to get in touch if they have any concerns. <laughs> oh, fuck. What's uh, wrong with animals in the world at the moment? What's that? What is wrong with animals? Oh, I know. Uh, Lolly lives with Leslie, her husband, kids, Cameron, 13, and Millie, 12, as well as two other cats. Leslie added, local school ch children on the way to school sing him songs and give him cuddles. He is known to catch a lift in pharmaceutical vehicles <laughs> if they are not watching. <laughs> That's it. That's it. It's just the drug addicts. Like, it specifies pharm pharmaceutical uh, vehicles, so it's just yeah. looking for a fix. Yeah, exactly. If they are not watching to spend two days in the offices of... It's... So, hold on. It's two days in the offices of Finner's Centre being treated like a king. So he does this often. It's not It's not a one-time thing for this cat. He, he jumps into the pharmaceutical vehicle, goes to the offices, and they keep him for two days. <laughs> That's a... That's it's a, a bender. Yeah. It's a bender. <laughs> oh, fucking hell! Well, that was my that's my thing. Any anything you want to say about that? <laughs> it turns us on a wild ride. It's, oh god! Like, I just like the idea of like my my cat is jumping. Like, say if you came around jumping in your car, and then when you drive off, you're like, oh hi, you're coming to stay with me for two days, and then you're going home. <laughs> you fucking is that, like if that was a human, that'd be kidnapping. Yeah, exactly. Like I just. It's 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 a cool story. I like I like I don't like how it's been written because whoever wrote that needs to be educated. Um, yeah, I because I just sound like a knob reading that. I was like, I can hear myself. I'm like, well, I'm not. This is so disjointed. It's because of how it's written. I'm not illiterate. I promise. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I I thought that was a cool story. Um, That's a good story. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I fucking lolly <laughs> <laughs> jumping into. Oh, anyway, um, should we go to our last question? Yeah, what have we got? Question three. Um, so this question comes from Big Nick at Nick 
RLC on Twitter. Your name is 13. Just, you know, misses out the ink, but that's fine. Yes. Uh, your name is 13. As you say with three eyes. As wrestling fans, you'll be aware of Kurt Angle's three eyes. But what are your your guys' three eyes, either individual or as a band? Um, so what are our three eyes? Should we just think of the most horrible things that start with I, should we? I eat a lot. <laughs> so you went a different route. When I said awful, I was thinking like incest. <laughs> <laughs> Ice, ice. Should I should I even release this book? Yeah, I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> so, so things that start with I, like it, it's it's a difficult question to answer. I will tell you what, um, I think, well, I think for, I'll I'll go first to give you time to think. Um, I think the three eyes in thirteen stand for idiocy. <laughs> Only in Troy's case. Um, oh, I, rude. I am personally very intelligent. Um, inconsistency. Yeah. Podcast every four weeks at this rate, you know. It's, yeah. That's it's pretty inconsistent, right? Yeah. <laughs> We're shit. Um, <laughs> uh, incoherent. Like that's that's evident from this podcast. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh. Oh. It's only our second, like our first one. Like we did so well. We. We, we we kept it like like so like 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 tight and now this is all falling apart. Cade scared <laughs> me. He came in. He accused me of fat shaming and shit. You paid him off. I pay. I paid him. Th- he actually took three dollars of my money. <laughs> he, um, and he probably paid more of that for my monster drink that he uh, bought for me. So, <laughs> um, yeah, incoherent. That's that's what this podcast has been so far. Yeah. So, uh, for you personally, or for the band as well, what do you think our three eyes are? Um, hmm. If I stole all the good ones, have I? I don't. I try to think of words that start with I, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, same. laughs> Mental, right? Uh, Ice or, or myth? What? Oh! <laughs> Right, I heard you say it before, but I didn't quite know what you meant. But meth, yeah, no, no, um, it's a slang for for meth, crystal yes. meth. You're learning today, children. Fucking hell. Uh, drugs are good. If a stranger offers you drugs and says get in my van, you say yes because drugs are expensive. Yeah, yeah you listen to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast. Seriously, uh, this might be our last one. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, have you got any other things that start with I? I'm thinking, deal with me. Idiotic. I said idiocy, you're, you're, you're cheating. Oh, okay, okay, oh. okay. Okay, deal with me. I, I thought idiotic because you're not that intelligent. I am, I'm very Fuck intelligent. Off. That, was, that was my joke! You stole my <laughs> joke! <laughs> um, immoral? Oh, I've, I think I've got morals, haven't I? No, uh, do you? Yeah. Nah, I kick. I, I, I'll, I'll like that. That cat lolly. I'll kick the shit out of it. <laughs> exactly. You have no, no morals. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, quote me on that one. I will kick lolly. Um, oh, and in your case, only your case. No one else's case. Impotent. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wrong. Uh-huh. You are wrong, sir. I am I am erect as we speak. <laughs> Are you thinking about Lolly? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, move along. Move along from that one. Fucking hell, we can't. We can't uh, do this. It's only been 53 minutes, Troy. Oh. Jesus Christ, this has gone so wrong. Uh, no, we, we can't we can't talk about animal fucking. Oh. <laughs> can't. Uh. I heard um, you enjoy the chicken nibble, though. Oh, shh. Inside joke, no one understands. Yeah, well, we're not going to explain it, so... <laughs> um, oh. Fucking hell, Troy. This has gone so wrong. I think we need to wrap this up. Yeah, I think we need to wrap this up as well. Like, we're under time, but you know what? 
I don't that, care. That's been point. a bad day. Yeah, I don't <laughs> care at this point. Like seriously, like from from the get go, we 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 kind of fucked it up. Right? Yeah, we we had your volume right down low, and that was <sighs> so. And ever since then, we, you know, we've we've talked about. I, I was scared. I, like, I was like, I want to see how loud that that, uh, that audio is when he scared me because oh fuck, I burned my ears. It burned my ears. Did it? Yeah, I did it. Because I was right next to the microphone and he's boo. <gasps> <laughs> Shit, my pants. Ah, uh, should we go to the end of the show, Troy? Yeah. Okay. This this round. Uh... Is he stuck here? Fuck, like, seriously, like, I am sorry for the quality of this podcast. Like, everything went wrong, but maybe maybe it'll be easy to listen to unless you get deafened at about... Yeah, or you're uh, made feel uncomfortable by certain things. Like what? What did we say? Animal fucking? Yeah. Well, I, if you're uncomfortable by that, I bet you do it, so... <laughs> Like, you know, you can joke about it, but it's just... Did you just assume someone's sexual orientation? No. Oh, fuck's sake, Troy. <laughs> fuck's sake, Troy. Oh. Fuck's sake. Fucking animals is not a sexual orientation. Right, all right. Yeah. Moving along. Moving along. Moving along. Oh. Um, Troy. Yes. If people want to find us on the social medias... You can, you can follow us at 13... Hold on, I didn't even... I didn't even ask you. I said if people wanted to follow us on the social medias, and you just went right into yeah. it. Uh, all, right, all right, let's try this again, right? Are you ready? Yeah. If people want to follow us on the social medias, where can they find us? You can follow us at 13 underscore Inc. on Twitter. Again, X-I-I-I underscore Inc. on Twitter and Instagram. And at 13 dot Inc. on Facebook. X-I-I-I dot Inc. Like on YouTube by searching for 13 Inc. spelled X-I-I-I-I-N-C full stop. You can follow me at TroyWinter23 on Twitter and at TroyWinter17 on Instagram and why not follow Jackson on Twitter and Instagram, Instagram at Condemned underscore lad. That was better than last week. That was better. We're going to get there. Yeah, I'm not a very good <laughs> enunciation person. But, <laughs> yeah, hey. neither. Um, have we got anything to plug? I've got a few things, but uh, if you want to plug some stuff, you can go ahead now. No, well, I've got nothing to plug yet. I'm working on some stuff here that I might try and show you tonight if I can remember how I wrote it. Cool, cool. I um, probably can't, but hey. I'm, I'm looking forward to that because uh, that kind of ties into what I'm talking about. Um, I've got some things to plug. We've got two new songs out, haven't we? Yes, we have. I enjoy them both. Uh, we've got You. Yeah. It came out um, a little over two weeks ago, I think. Yeah, close to the and, three, isn't it? Yeah, closer to three. And uh, Cigarettes and Tattoos, the title track from the album, came out Would... three weeks ago. So, And if you haven't listened to that one, it's an absolute jam. Thank you, because I, yeah, I, I, was, I was quite happy when, with that one, how it turned out. I actually recorded I... vocals for that. That's um... probably our favourite, my favourite of ours at the moment. Is it's it? just a jam. It's yeah. so, such a jam. Everyone needs to listen to it. Um, that one was written entirely by me. Uh, there are other songs on there that we've collaborated with. Troy's written, Kate's written, but uh, that one is entirely from the brain of Jackson. And um, I'd really appreciate anyone to go and listen to it. Uh, it's 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 quite a long song. It's almost five minutes, I think. So yeah, uh, have some popcorn ready, but uh, I preferably listen with headphones so you can listen to the, uh, the how I mixed oh, it. The mixing in it is yeah. wild. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm, I was I was really I I'm kind of underselling you here, but I just I I'm really happy with how cigarettes and tattoos uh, turned out. I yeah. Recorded vocals for that like um, January around there. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, so um, it was um, it was a while coming. I just didn't get the mixing right, but finally yeah. I think I've got the mixing right in this one. I, I re-recorded the bass track because it was a bit sloppy, but um. So, yeah, it came out three weeks ago. If you haven't heard that one yet, please go check it out. That will um, help us out a lot. Other than that, uh, for the next week, I'm kind of busy, so no streams, I'd say, for the next six days. Yeah. Uh, next weekend, I'm going to try and 
uh, do some more Crash 2 on stream and hopefully finish it by then. Yeah. <laughs> um, so if you want to catch me on Twitch, uh, it's twitch.tv forward slash 13 underscore inc. Um, or just follow us on our social medias and I will post whenever I go live. So um, that's all we really wanted to say here. Uh, thank you for sticking around for the podcast. It has been quite... All right. Yeah, it's been... It's been, quite frankly, awful. Um, <laughs> so if we're all done here, should we, should we, uh, should we wrap it up? Yeah, yeah. Well, all right. well uh, thank you, everyone, for listening. Again, thank you if you got to this point. Um, love you. We appreciate you a lot. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>